Now, this happened today while I was out plane spotting, and it hurts really bad. So let's try to clean this up. This is how you take care of a fall. A little bit of uh, skin broken. I uh, definitely don't have a broken bone, but it hurts a lot, very painful. So all I'm going to do is a little bit of hydrogen peroxide, um, which is probably going to... Uh, I can feel it just touch doing this hurts just touching the skin so this is probably gonna be pretty painful but you do want to try to get this you do want to try to get a wound cleaned up as best you can um, and it's okay to have blood in a wound it seals it up it stops the bleeding it protects it it will scab over in time and you just have to let the scab do its thing that's uh, a good protection but I want to get a little bit of peroxide on the wound now if I was in a hospital they would be pouring peroxide or alcohol over this they might even go in there and scrub it a little bit which would hurt really bad but it would get anything that's stuck in there out of the way but I don't really want to lean over a bathtub to do that ah! to do this um, ow. yeah th things could have been a lot lot worse than they are here ah! oh my gosh Oh my goodness. Just the pain is absolutely incredible. Because I went right down on a metal grate that just dug in. And I'm lucky I didn't break my wrist and my hand or my fingers or slam my head. Okay. Ow! The bone is very sore. Very sore. Okay, so I'm going to try to clean this up. But if you get something like this, you really want to try to pour the liquid over as best as possible. The advantage of, do Ow! The advantage of, of doing this even an hour later is that all of this that you're seeing come off would have left a humongous scab that would have been extremely thick very difficult to deal with for about two or three weeks until it dried off. So I'm removing a lot of that. I'm going to try to get in there now and open this up a little bit. Scrubbing a little. And that's how you take care of a wound. Uh, ow! Um, and you can see by doing what I'm doing it looks a whole lot better than it did before because all of that was really dried blood but I'd love to do over here and what I'm going to do over here is get out the pet scissors and I'm going to remove all the hair around the wound because that is going to cause a lot of problems later when everything starts to heal up all that blood has been removed so it's going to be a lot better than it was before because there's not going to be as much hair sticking in the way but I want to just try to clean this area up I'd love to use a, uh, a little razor little shaver over there but there's still a, just a lot of gunk stuck into this sore area right now okay so let's get another cloth and we'll try to clean this up a little more doesn't look as bad so as long as you don't have broken bones and as long as something's not pouring out that 
that shin bone is so sore. Aha! Ha ha! The peroxide just went into the cut. And that's what you want. You want to be able to disinfect the wound. Ooh. And if I was at a hospital, they would laugh at me and say, why are you here? But if I was at a hospital, they would, uh, as I said, probably pour this on and then take a little uh, scrubbing thing, maybe a sponge, and just try to scrub this. So I'm going to come back in a minute. And there it is. See the difference? I went over, uh, raised my leg up on a chair. Got the cloth covered with the hydrogen peroxide and scrubbed it really clean. It's hurting really bad. It hurts a lot. It's probably going to hurt a lot for, well, you can see it's, ah, oh, it's all bruised all over here. Oh, whoo, right over here. Ah, that bone. So I'm extremely lucky. That is how you clean a wound uh, to try to uh, get the blood off of it and protect yourself from infection and remove, uh, you want to do that to remove it, whatever cloth, if you were wearing uh, pants and some of the cloth got stuck in the wound or if you had on a shirt or if you were on the ground and got dirt in there, you want to clean it out. You want to get it as clean as you can, antiseptic. Uh, hydrogen peroxide, alcohol, isopropyl, whatever you need to do. Get it all cleaned up. Bandage it if you need to. Gauze it if you need to. Uh, hopefully the video helped you to learn how to uh, take care of minor cuts and scrapes. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, leave a comment. Donation link in the video description.